Hi guys, welcome back. For this video I made it to the Netherlands. We are starting in Amsterdam. But this time I didn't came alone. I came with the company of my friends. Hey! Hi! Time to set sail on a canal boat river tour. And though there are plenty of reasons why this is still a must do when visiting Amsterdam, the main highlights for me surely are the fact that the canal ring is today a UNESCO World Heritage Site, as well as the relevance of this river to this city. When back in the 12th century, the first dam was built to hold the Amstel River, giving the name of Amsterdam to this city. Sitting at the building where her father used to work, the Anne Frank house takes you through the pages of her diary, the everyday challenging struggles on this small, dark and silent secret annex, but also on how to persist hopeful and determined to make your voice heard. This overwhelming visit is these days more relatable than ever. Take some time to stroll around Jordan district and admire its narrow streets, leading you to the Nege Straatjes, Dutch for the Nine Streets, which is a location also known as this city's shopping quarters. The Bloemenmarkt is Amsterdam's iconic floating flower market. Open since 1862, this is where you can find the most colorful display of the famous Dutch tulips. In here is also where you can find the cheapest souvenirs available. Don't forget to visit the Heinhof, a hidden medieval courtyard where a sisterhood of nuns used to live together in the 16th century, times when Catholic faith was banned from the city. When visiting Amsterdam, you should pay attention to some of the most iconic squares around the city. Your first stop should be Dam Square, where the Royal Palace is located. Opposite to it, it's the National Monument in honor of the victims of the Second World War. Follow up with a visit to the Museum Plain, where within many you can find the famous Rijsk Museum and Van Gogh Museum. And to this list of must-see museums, you should also add the modern Moko Museum. Here is where you can find a display of privately owned contemporary collections and some of the most amusing creative light rooms. Lastly, and purely for the sake of exploring the history of Amsterdam, visit the Heinekein Experience. Located where the first Heinekein brewery used to be, this experience takes you through not only the brewing process of this worldwide famous beer, as well as bottoms up, a good taste of it. And if you think the best part is over by now, you are wrong. The fun has just started. Time to head up where all nights lead to in Amsterdam, the famous red light district. From red lighted windows, museums, their very own Chinatown, coffee shops, space cookies, bars, and even the oldest church in Amsterdam, the red light district has it all. Take it or leave it, but a visit to Zamses Hans should be considered if you do want to observe the real traditional Dutch experience. So my advice is to drink some hot chocolate. Take plenty of photos. Visit their authentic Dutch houses. Try the massive pairs of clock shoes available. Feel crafty at the wooden shoes factory. And believe me, your visit will be worth it. Don't finish your trip without experience a breathtaking view of this amazing city. 
step into their light show lift until the 20th floor and set your adventure soul free for some really long 22 seconds swinging over the edge. Thank you guys, this was amazing. This was it for this week. I hope you liked this video and I see you on my next trip.